Hi everyone, let's look at Ewan's Gambit this time, because it's a relative of the Italian game. So if you play bishop c4, and if your opponent plays bishop c5, which is most common, then you can play b4, gambiting a pawn, and trying to get a strong center, um, straight from the beginning. Here, black just takes the pawn with the bishop, that's his best chance. Let's see what happens if he takes with the knight. This is winning for white, because d4 also comes with tempo, and white can even perform a bishop sacrifice, and it's just too good for white. So, bishop takes b4. Okay, here c3, taking advantage of the bishop's placement on b4, and here black has many choices. Bishop a5 is the most common. Also, bishop e7. Um, bishop can also go to c5. Um, with the idea of, I guess, going to b b6 later, if if white plays d4, but bishop a5 seems more natural because then d4 doesn't come with tempo and the bishop can go to b6 also via uh, a5. So let's look at that. I think it's more a little bit more aggressive than than uh, bishop e7. Here, white usually castles, because, well, taking on d would be a mistake, because the c pawn is still pinned. And white doesn't have to worry about black taking on c3, because let's see what happens. Queen b3 is really strong, and black might not be able to castle anymore. Queen e7, knight takes c, and there's this bishop a3 idea, trying to, it's common in Evans camp, it's trying to stop black from castling. Black can play d6 though, but white can play e5, and um, black has some trouble, trouble getting developed, so white doesn't have to really worry about that. Usually black plays knight g to e7, because f6 might be met with e5, and also just d6, and now white can take back on d4. And black strikes in the center, developing the bishop. And if game continues like this, then black already has has some fair chances of, of winning. He didn't fall into any pitfalls of, of the opening. Bishop b3 is a common move, um, perhaps invented by Nigel Short. Here, if black plays bishop e6, it, it looks really good for black. He can also just uh, play knight c to e7, supporting the knight. But bishop e6 looks really good, so... Now, white shouldn't take the b-pawn. Because now the queen is not active. And it's difficult to, to activate, I guess. So, instead of that, we see bishop a3. And white still has chances of victory, even though black stands better.
Now white can take the b-pawn, and uh, it's quite sharp, It's it could go either way. Let's go back a little bit, and... Uh, So d5 seems to be a good move, very aggressive and challenging this this strong center. Also d6 is possible, but that gives very good results for white than just something like castle or knight g6. Also not as good. So So is bishop a5 just refuting the Evans gambit? Let's look at if black plays bishop to e7. I guess this was the idea behind bishop e7 that the a5 square is free for that knight. And uh, it's it's pretty equal actually. Black has given given the pawn back, and uh, is is seemingly better here, even though White has these two central pawns. Maybe the d4 pawn is going to be weak because it can't um, push forward. It's it's kind of like a backward pawn because it can't uh, go forward. Even though this pawn is not on c5 or anything, that would be like a real backward pawn. And because of that, perhaps this bishop uh, stays passive, so black has more room for his bishops. Even though he doesn't have any pawns uh, in the in the center, or or even on the wings on the fifth rank, black also has to move bishop c5, but that doesn't seem to be so good. Note that here. White can also take on CD immediately, I mean D4, but that's not so strong because now black gets this tempo and uh, and white doesn't have so much momentum, it, it feels that, I mean, yeah, it could turn out uh, either, either way, black has that extra pawn, but I think white's center is strong, so perhaps white is a little bit better. So instead on, on move 7, white just castles. And here again, this bishop sacrifice is working. That's usually a sign that, that the position is it's much better for the other half. King e8 and uh, black is struggling to to be safe in this variation. Yeah. I wouldn't want to play this as as black. He's actually up two pawns. But, well, it can also end up in a black victory, so it just depends on, on the fact if the king can, can get some safety uh, through f7 and maybe g8 later. 
avoiding the uh, dark squares. So yeah, those were some uh, basic lines from the Evans Gambit. And uh, there are other gambits also from the uh, Italian game, such as the Italian Gambit, starting with d4 here, and then offering another pawn, and playing moves like queen b3, and it's also a very aggressive gambit, but it's quite similar to many many other gambits like Smith Mora Gambit or the Danish Gambit. So, so perhaps um, it's not so so independent. Uh, doesn't have so much independent value. So, yes, thanks for watching and. Uh, Try out the Evans Gambit if you dare. Bye.